trans women are women. But better, if you're a trans woman taking estrogen, you have a biologically female body. Trans women are women. But better, because we are empathetic to a hostile world. It is a basic truth that trans people are more empathetic and accepting to outside groups than our cis counterparts. Boy, where's the receipts? I'm saying boy instead of girl because, you know. This is in direct opposition to how the world treats us. The world is aggressively hostile to the existence of trans people. Again, where's the receipts? It is well known that trans people, and queer people in general, are more likely to be left-leaning. And that means anything from a liberal all the way to a communist. Conservatives are notoriously apathetic, hostile to outside groups, and, to top it all off, scared of change. Or maybe the reason why most trans people vote left is due to trans nowadays being a political thing, rather than a medical thing. Actual trans people are diverse. Not all trans people think the same, have the same values. And that's because the mental disorder gender dysphoria, something you have to deal with to be a real trans person, can more or less affect anyone, any type of person. Dealing with a mental disorder is not political, but believing in trans ideology, believing in more than two genders, sterilizing healthy gender-confused children with puberty blockers, believe in terms such as birthing person, chest feeder, all that is political and it has nothing to do with gender dysphoria. By the way, not wanting to fundamentally change a society doesn't mean you're scared of change overall. Not wanting the definitions of man and woman to change does not make you a conservative. This all adds up to the basic truth that trans people are just statistically nicer people. Countless studies, surveys, and articles have proven this. I will cite my sources if I need to, or you can just Google it. No, no, it's your job to prove it. If it's that easy to prove, why don't you do it? If you don't like this fact, I recommend becoming a better person. What fact? You're not gonna like what I'm about to say, but just because you state something doesn't automatically make it true. Here's an advice. If you want society, but especially women, to accept you as a woman, maybe you shouldn't as a man claim you're a better woman than women. That's my advice, take it or leave it, but I guess feminists don't care because as long as you are a man identifying as trans, you can be as misogynistic as you want. For some reason, you can get away with it. So, if that's your thing, maybe you don't need my advice. And real trans women don't need my advice either, because they don't feel like they're superior to women. Real or fake transsexuals are not nicer people inherently than non-trans people. Maybe you could argue that gender dysphoric people, due to their mental health issues, due to them struggling, are slightly more empathetic than the people who don't deal with gender dysphoria. But not all gender dysphoric individuals are the same. And also, what's the point of talking about it? If it's even a thing, doing research about it. Why make any study, any statistic that make trans people look better than non-trans people? Trans activists who appropriate the trans identity, transsexualism, are inherently less empathetic than most people. A lot of them have narcissistic tendencies. Most of them are extremely self-involved. They're angry all the time, always miserable, most importantly. And activists demand that regular people fix all of their problems. How's that empathetic? If you're a trans woman taking estrogen, you have a biologically female body. I'm gonna regret asking this, but what do you mean? You have a body that is no different than a cis woman's. You take estrogen, you have a female endocrine system, meaning your body's hormone regulation is the same as any other female. I'm not a doctor or an endocrinologist, but no, that's not how it works. That's what happens when you take bioidentical estrogen, right? But most trans women don't have a full female reproductive system. What do you mean most trans women? Don't you mean all trans women don't have a female reproductive system? A female is a female. Only females can have a female reproductive system. A trans woman is a tr well, a man, a male. No matter how many hormones you take, you can't change that fact. I think someone needs to go back to school. Their body is not necessarily making the hormones on its own, though it can and it will. You take a high enough dose of estrogen, your body stops making testosterone. Don't you need to take a testosterone blocker in order to stop the testosterone production? And I know there's a thing called aromatize, but still, 
I'm pretty sure transsexual women are on testosterone blockers if they still have their testes. If you have ovaries or a uterus because you're intersex, your body will naturally make estrogen. If you have abnormal chromosomes, your body might just naturally produce estrogen or no- But is that the same as being trans? No, I didn't think so. I feel bad for intersex people. They're always included in trans activism. It doesn't make sense. They don't necessarily belong in that space. I have to delete most of my manic posts because uh, around half of them I am c citing violence against people. Like, I'm not even gonna cherry code it. I delete a lot of my drafts because uh, when I get a little manic, I get a little insane, a little angry at the government, among other people. Oh my god, I didn't see that coming. You, out of all people, are cray cray? Ya yeah, Allah! This dude is not the only trans activist who will dress like a kitty, who will have a lot of teddy bears in their bedroom. I think it's creepy, especially when they're adult men. So dear FBI man, please don't look at the 50 TikToks I just deleted, please. Dear FBI man, please do. Please. I'm not even joking, this man could be a threat. We have seen it before, and I promise you we will see it again in the future. Trans activists unaliving people because they're so angry, and they're a part of, they're listening to this community that is so full of hate. In the way I look at it, activists are also riling each other up, which can be dangerous. Not that long ago, we saw a young woman, a trans activist, unaliving six Christians, including three children. Quick side note, the only thing trans TikTok had to say about it, about this horrible event, was what he did was terrible, but that doesn't give you the right to misgender him. Talking about a young woman, looking like such, and most importantly, was an unaliver. So no same person actually respected her pronouns. I'm afraid we're gonna see more attacks like the one in Nashville. Most radical trans activists struggle with their mental health. No one is doubting that. But what we need to look out for is how some of them are not only severely mentally ill, they could also be dangerous. The individuals I'm talking about right now get told on a daily basis there is a trans side going on in the US. I don't know what to say about that. It's Delulu more than anything. I'm not even sure where that absurd claim comes from. Trans people are under attack. Politicians in the US want to harm children. Wouldn't mind if trans children unalive themselves. Society as a whole is against trans people. The individuals I'm talking about are not only identifying as trans, even though they're not, it's also their entire personhood. It's their entire personality. So let's say someone calls me she. I couldn't care less. Before my transition, it happened quite a lot. I felt dysphoric about it, but I didn't feel like I was attacked as a human being. Unlike these people, I do have a personality. I do have a life outside of trans. I know my job is doing YouTube talking about trans, but when you think about it, I'm talking about the fake kind of trans, an experience I can't relate to. I'm mostly talking about other people. So again, I do have a life outside of my transness, outside of my gender dysphoria. But due to these people's severe mental health issues, almost can't control how obsessed they are with trans activism, with fighting for a gender revolution. And if someone doesn't affirm their gender identity, their pronouns, they do get angry. Some of them believe that they are literally being attacked, like physically. Therefore, I'm afraid that we will in the future see a rise in trans activists attacking regular people with the belief that attacking strangers is an act of self-defense. We need to do something about it. Of course, there are trans activists who are evil. They're only a part of the trans cult, the trans movement, to justify their hatred and their violent behavior. However, I do believe they're a minority in this minority. <laughs> and we do see more brainwashed, severely mentally ill people getting riled up, becoming more hateful, but also desperate. No matter what people's intentions are, we need to do something about this. Identifying as trans doesn't justify any criminal behavior, but also misogyny, sexism, racism, homophobia, talking about the real definitions. Please promise me that you will call out this bullshit whenever you see it. There are like five trans people in the world speaking out against this nonsense. Especially if you're a gender dysphoric person yourself, a transsexual. Look, there are only like five trans people in the entire world speaking out against all this nonsense. If you're not a transsexual, please speak up too. Even if you're just a regular straight man or a woman. The trans cult is obviously wrong about everything they say. But unfortunately, they have way too much power today. So let's try to change that. 
we need the silent majority to become unsilent. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me and my channel, you can become a member or I have my PayPal link in the description down below. Remember to follow me on social media. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the comments. Peace out.